YouTube, it's Alicia. It's Alicia and welcome to what's in my hospital bag video um, I want to start out by saying um, I'm gonna be packing another like small backpack and in the backpack is going to have Zach's comfortable clothes um, a pair of sweats socks underwear um, a shirt and a sweatshirt for him uh, we're a little unsure if he'll be staying the night in the hospital just because of our situation with the kids and not knowing anybody um, hopefully my mother-in-law is here. If she's here, then he will stay with me in the hospital. Um, but he'll be in and out, so there's really no need to pack him a lot. Um, and then in, also in that backpack, we'll carry our chargers, laptop, um, all of our electronics, phones, and um, extra battery and memory card and tripod for this camera. So, um, And this camera is going to go with us also. But, um, and then a few items, let me, I feel funny not sitting in the front. Um, and then a few items that I'm missing in my bag are, um, I want to get a nursing tank and a sleep bra, a nursing sleep bra. Um, I do have some in here, but I know they're not going to fit. So, um, yeah, let me just show you my bag. This is the bag. It's just a duffel that has wheels and a handle so that's kind of nice considering um the labor and delivery is up on like the eighth floor so um first in the front pocket here i have a phone charger this also charges my camera and a sleep mask because um i cannot sleep at all if there's any light I remember thinking with Zoe, I wish I had a mask because the room was so bright. Uh, in the side pocket, oh, I, I didn't grab it, but I brought, um, I have some hard candy. I have lemon drops and caramel, hard caramel that I'm going to be adding in here um, just as something for if I'm in labor. I heard having something to suck on is a good distraction. Um, then I have snacks. I just have some cereal bars hair ties, and some stud earrings in this. And then I have three maxi pads. Um, my hospital supplies them, so, but just in case. And the other side, um, I should mention that I'm also packing for, I'm packing for a vaginal birth, but with a c-section in mind because there's a chance that i can go into surgery so i packed accordingly um so in this side pocket i have three like bras nursing bras one's a sleep bra one's a clip down nursing bra and one's just a stretchy like bralette um and i just have those in there for now and i have two pairs of socks and i have um with Zoe, I wished that I had more underwear. <laughs> I like the mesh underwear, but I just remember thinking, gosh, I wish I had more underwear. Hi, baby. Um, so I have five of my most ugliest grandma underwear in here. With a C-section, your stay would be longer. Um, with Zoe, I stayed for four days, so. Okay, in the main part, um, I have my straightener, um, blow dryer, and then in, let me see, where's the other one? And then I have my toiletry bags and my makeup bag. I got these, this set at Burlington Coat Factory for like $7. So I have lotion, hand lotion. Nothing too um, scented because that would, um, you don't want that for your newborn baby. Okay, so in my toiletry bag, 
I have my hair serums for when if I blow dry and straighten my hair. Uh, deodorant, toothpaste, I still need to get a toothbrush. Body wash, face wash, makeup remover wipes, um, shampoo and conditioner. If you're cur curious, they're herbal essence. And then a herbal essence dry shampoo. This is gonna be a lifesaver. And then in my makeup bag, I'm just gonna quickly go over it. I have my Physician's Formula um, Natural Nudes, my favorite mascara, eyelash curler, my favorite bronzer, NYC bronzer, um, Physician's, no, this isn't Physician's, what brand is this? Um, Milani Baked Blush, a brush, my Stay Matte, and tweezers and a eyeliner and makeup brush or eyelash eyelash um eyeshadow brush and that's it um honestly oh and concealer honestly what will probably go on my face is concealer for my under eye circles um stay matte bronzer and um mascara and that's it very basic then, um, after I had Zoe, I was so, and Wyatt, I was so unbelievably swollen to the point where my shoes, my flip-flops that I brought, and um, my clothes that I brought did not, did not fit me. Only thing that fit me was my um, nightgown and robe and slippers. So, oh, owl hug. So, I brought... Um, with that in mind too because I do swell up in the end so I brought these um, sandals for probably um, because they're good when my feet are swollen for shower shoes I just brought flip-flops just a pair of old navy flip-flops and then I have my slippers to walk around the hospital room with or the hospital um, like I said earlier I got so, so swollen and I was unbelievably uncomfortable in all of my clothes. All of my clothes were like super tight and I just didn't want anything touching me. So I packed with that in mind because there's a chance I might get swollen again, um, especially if I have a C-section because they pump you full of fluids. So um, I brought my most comfortable clothes. So I brought a Target tank top that I could nurse in. A Target maternity top that's extremely long and stretchy. Um, just a, my baby blue cardigan for if I get chilly. A pair of yoga um, maternity yoga pants that are extremely stretchy, and a pair of lounge pants um, that are really baggy. Um, and then. I brought, I'll show you my going home outfit last. And then I brought two nightgowns and robes. Um, so this nightgown and robe I wore after I had Zoe and it was, I was so happy with it. I was so comfortable and I felt cute, um, which for some reason is important to me to feel like a human after having a baby. Um, so this is it. It's just you know, really baggy, lightweight. I can easily nurse in it and the nurses have easy access because, um, well, one, I don't like to lay in bed with pants on <laughs> and two, the nurses are constantly checking you. So I don't want to be pulling pants on and off. So, so I have that and this just a blue robe. And then I bought another set, um, because it was just such a good deal and I couldn't pass it up. It is this like blush pink nightgown and um, it's really stretchy and lightweight and I can nurse in it. And we are in Florida, so I'm sure it's gonna be much warmer. And then um, the matching robe to go with it. You wanna hear something really funny? I washed everything and draft one, because I have a new baby, so I don't want him to get like, I don't want to irritate his skin, but two, I 
love the smell of draft <laughs> laundry detergent. So <laughs> when I open this bag, it's just like, oh, oh, and a brush. I have my brush in here and a clippy. Um, and then I have my hair towel wrap and a big beach towel because <laughs> both Wyatt and Zoe, when I would shower there, they have like washcloths for at the hospitals. Like the towels are tiny. So <laughs> I brought a big one. Um, okay. And then I'm going to explain my going home outfit because, um, like I said, I, oh, I almost started crying because I was so frustrated that nothing fit. And I walked out of the hospital wearing my nightgown and robe and flippers because nothing else fit. Not that anybody cares what I wear out of the hospital, but I want to, you know, you've been there for a few days. Like you want to feel like better. You don't want to feel like such a slob or at least I didn't. So I remember thinking, I wish I just had a cute dress. So that's what I brought. I brought my favorite dress for after babies and during babies and pregnant. It's like my go-to dress. It's an old navy dress and it's just cotton and um, it's just like a tank dress. It hits me right under the bust, so there's room for belly. I can wear this pregnant now. Um, and it goes like, it hits me right at the knees or right below the knees actually. So um, I got this like four years ago and I love it. So this is probably what I'll wear home. These, um, if it's chilly, I'll have this gray cardigan or I could wear my baby blue cardigan. And then um, my sandals. So um, I think that's it. So basically I just need to get some, a nursing tank top um, for just in case. And I would like to have one after because I don't plan on going anywhere. After I have this baby, I'll be homebound for a while. Um, but that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I can't believe this video is next in line. This video just symbolizes like how close I am to the end and how soon we all are going to meet Sawyer. It's just, wow, crazy. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye.